President Donald Trump's proposed federal budget could mean big cuts to social service programs across the Fort Wayne area. The Fort Wayne Literacy Alliance is one of those programs that would take a hit. And tonight, News Channel 15's Angelica Robinson joins us now with reaction from leaders and students. Angelica. Brett and Heather, for nearly 30 years, the folks at the Literacy Alliance have made it their business to help adults who struggle with reading and writing. Many who go through the program even end up earning their GED. But less federal funding could result in fewer students being served. For this group of students lies a second chance. Education, job, it starts with a GED, a high school diploma. Jessica Norton has spent the last two and a half years working with the Literacy Alliance to get her GED. She struggled with academics long before that. She moved to Fort Wayne in the 10th grade and realized the curriculum was far more advanced than her previous school. So I was behind and I would have been in 8th grade. Eventually dropping out, her path led her to the Literacy Alliance. It's an adult education program that teaches people through learning centers, literacy programs, and tutoring. These low to moderate income adults who are trying to upscale and improve their personal situation in life. Mike Landrum, the executive director, says about 12% of the annual revenue is tied to federal funds and about 4% is connected to the Community Development Block Grant, both of which are threatened by President Trump's new budget proposal. The money to fund the class, then we don't have a classroom. Then that means people don't have education. If people don't have education, then who are going to work the jobs that these people want able? Today, Mayor Tom Henry called the proposed budget inhumane and says he's taking his concerns to lawmakers. You cannot cut essential services that cities offer to their residents and expect a city to thrive. As for Jessica, she's just hoping they'll listen. I just wish that, you know, maybe they'll listen to us and don't cut something that you don't understand. If you're going to cut it, then at least ask us how we feel about it. The Literacy Alliance is one of many programs that could be affected by the new budget. Bright Point stands to lose up to $7 million if the proposal is passed. For more on that, head over to Wayne.com. Angelica Robinson, News Channel 15.